hi guys and welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by today i'll be showing you how i made this gorgeous tutu skirt for my daughter if this is your first time here you're highly welcome please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button if you find this video useful so to make this tutu skirt i'm making this tutu skirt for a five years old and this is the measurement i'm using so all you need is your waist and the length so the waist is 23 and the length i'm using is 15 because i'm going to surprise your shoulder to is 25 and the bodies of the dress for a five years old is 25 then 10 so i'm going to remove um 10 away from 25 which is 15 so it depends on you i don't want to use 15 because i want the tutu to be short so i probably use maybe 14 inches so now i have half an inch of taffeta fabric here and i have three and a half yards of um tool this tool is not a very soft tool this is between medium to soft to medium tool that's the tool i have here so and my tool is 60 inches in width you can see like when i bought it it came folded like this normally if you buy some tool this will just be the width that's 30 inches but mine is 60 inches like it's double it's double the width of the tool is double so like i'm going to get maybe up to like six yards from it if i want to cut it so what i'm going to do now just because of I'm making this for my daughter and I can choose to use this tool again for another thing. I will just go ahead and cut this tool. I will cut it in this place. So I'm going to separate it. So I forgot to add, I will be using this fancy elastic. So if you don't have this kind of fancy elastic, you can use the normal elastic. I'll do a video. So I've separated both of them. You can see. So like this now, I still have 30 inches as width. I still have the width as 30 inches. So even if I fold it over like so. I will have 15 inches and i really did not want this to, to, to be long let's see okay this is 14 inches i can work with this so i'm just going to fold this fabric into two like this like so you see it's two i don't want to cut it because i might use this tool again for something else and i'm going to gather it up go to the machine and run a gather stitch like so just run a gather stitch down to the end So now I'm done running the gather stitch. I'll just take one of the thread. You see there are two threads. You take one of the thread and you start pulling it gently. Just pull it gently. You can see the gathers is forming already. I'm going to pull this one to the middle. And then when I get to the other end, I'll pull the other side. So I just want to run the bottom of my lining and then I'll put gathers at the other end. So I'm done doing the gathers for the skirt, the two. 
and I also um top stitched it so I won't lose the gathers. But I didn't, it's not exactly 23 inches, it's more, it, it, I made it 26 inches. And then I've also done gathers for the lining. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to sew these two together. But I won't start from the beginning, I'm going to start from, I'm going to give space, start from here. Because I'm going to join, separate them, close this, the lining, I'm going to close the lining and close the two separately. So that's why I'm not starting from the beginning and I won't end it too. I'm not going to end it. I will stop, um, stop almost close to the ending. So I'll just go over to the machine and press it together and come back and tell you the next thing to do. So I've joined the lining and the two together. So now this is the second part of the two. If you remember, the, I told you the two, the width is 60 inches. So I now cut it into two, it was now 30, 30, and then I folded it like this. So this is the second one. I thought I would be able to use this one, but it's not full enough. So I've gathered the second one. I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to go ahead and press it. So that means I use the whole three and a half yards of two. Because I want it very full. I'll just go over and see. Now, if I put this one on top, you won't really notice the lining on that. But if I don't put it, you see, I'm going to put this one on top. So I'm done adding the second step of two. You can see how full it is now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close it before I'll put the elastic. You see the lining is separate. I'm going to close the lining. That's why I was like, don't sew from the beginning. I'm going to close this lining. And then I will still close the net separately. I'm going to close the net separately. Take the second net, join them together. And then take the other one and join it together. The last one and join it together too. Like that. After joining it, you will now just cover the up. Like stitch it together up. And then before we are going to put the elastic. <laughs> it's too scared. It's so fluffy. So I'm done closing it, I've closed it, I'm going to show you where I closed it, you can see the first step is separate, second step is separate and then the lining is separate. Once you close all the joinings together, you just um, gather them together. So the next thing, the final step is to take your elastic, I'm going to do another tutorial of me using um normal elastic if you don't have this kind of fancy elastic you can use a normal elastic so the waist i'm using is 23 so i'm going to surprise three or four away from 23 i'm going to use like 19 and then join the edge together because you want this skirt to snug to the waist if you use exactly 23 it won't snug it still depends on how stretchy your elastic is if it's super stretchy still reduce it the more and then join it together so i've closed it what i'm going to do that joining point i'm going to look for it yeah i'm going to open this one like so and put it on top on top of the skirt First thing you're going to do now, this is your skirt, this is the back, this is the front. You're just going to, if you want to notch it, you can notch it, but I'll just use chalk to mark mine, to know the front and the back. And then I'm going to bend it so that I can know the two sides. So this is the two sides. So now I have four sides. I've marked them. So I'll take my elastic. Where's the back? I'll place my elastic. I'm going to mark it into four two. Take your tape and mark it. So this is the front and this is the back. Now you're going to bend the elastic again into two. To mark here.
I'm going to mark there. And now you have four sides marked. What you are going to do is the back, you're going to start from the back. Or you can even start from the front because you have already marked it. You have to secure this elastic here. You're going to secure it with pin. I'll take the side. I'll take the side now that's marked. I'll merge it, secure it with this side too. This will enable you all the gathers to to be equal. Not that one side will be more bulky, no. I'll secure here. You come to the front. I'll secure it too. I'm going to come to this glass side and secure it. Then you will go over to your machine and then run it round. Once you run it round, sketch is done. Let me go and run it round and I'll be back. So this is what it looks like at the end. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.